Today we will continue our discussion about prolonged exercise and low protein diet. So in our previous videos we have discussed two figures about this prolonged exercise and uh, how the endurance has endurance endurance exercise and resistance exercise leads to the intercellular changes in this video we will continue our discussion about uh, the same prolonged exercise and also the low protein diet and this uh, figures are taken from a review article and if you need to go through the review article you can uh, follow the reference that has been provided in the description so we will start with this uh, what are the other changes that occurs in the prolonged exercise the prolonged exercise what happens is that due, due to the uh, damage of the mus uh, damage of the muscles it will uh, cause or it will leads to this damp formation that is damage associated uh, molecular uh, patterns and this damp formations will trigger the activation of the immune response because the immune response consider this as non self uh, non self epitopes and because of that it will uh, try to eliminate those dams and it will trigger the immune response uh, mainly the monocytes will reach to the site of this uh, damaged muscles and this monocyte will kind of differentiate themselves into this m1 type macrophages and this m1 type macrophages will cause increase in this ros and nos formation that is reactive oxygen species formation on the nitrogen oxygen species formation and simultaneously it will also release the cytokines such as interleukin 6 interleukin 1 tnf alpha and uh, that is that will cause this proteolysis of the muscles or it will has the further uh, negative impact on the muscles simultaneously the neutrophils will also uh, cause increase in this ROS and NOS as neutrophils also a part of the immune response so both the, the mainly uh, the monocytes and the neutrophils are the main uh, immune system that reach to the site of this uh, dams formation so the objective of uh, this objective of uh, the objective of the prolonged exercise should be to reduce this damp formation so that the in immune response will be reduced and the inflammation caused at the uh, site of the damage could be reduced in order to do so the amino acids could be supplemented during this prolonged exercise and what it will does is it will uh, reduce this dams formation simultaneously it will not reduce this damp formation what it will reduce it will try to suppress the immune response such as it will uh, suppress this M1 type macrophages, ROS and NOS formations, and that in way leads to this NF kappa beta expression, decrease in the NF kappa beta expression. And, uh, and, uh, and also, what will happen is that it will differentiate the M1 type macrophages into the M2 type macrophages. And if you are following up this uh, channel, then you have uh, been come to a video where we, I have discussed that M2 type macrophages has. Uh, pro tumorigenic properties but that's not always the case the m2 type macrophages also has this immune suppression properties so that property will be uh, taken into advantage in this uh, process whereby it will try to suppress the immune response and uh, simultaneously this uh, immune response will be suppressed uh, by also by this t regulatory cells and also by these M2 macrophages and that it may uh, will cause the repair of the muscle cells at the same time there is no or there is minimum inflammations and so this is about on the prolonged exercise with and without amino acid supplementation now let us understand the how the low diet proteins affect the individuals so low diet proteins will create a condition where there is amino acid depletions that will trigger this GCN2 uh, pathway activations will cause this ATF4 pathway activations uh, and that will lead to this FGF21 FGF20 high or you can say that high but uh, high high amount of this FGF21 and that will has a effect such as this AMPK activation glucose uptake and fatty acid oxidations that we have discussed in our previous videos however uh, 
one of the characteristic of the obesity is that it they also have this fgf21 high fgf21 so they should also uh, cause uh, this kind of uh, uh, this kind of results however there is some unknown mechanism by which this uh, this kind of functions are not been activated in the uh, obese person and other ways by which this fg21 get uh, high is through this endurance exercise where glucagon is glucagon is con consumed and uh, that will cause this fg21 high fg21 productions and this process is also not yet known However, this endurance exercise will also lead to this amino acid depletions or the low proteins uh, diet conditions. So that will also trigger the similar pathways that is loss in the, it will finally lead to loss of the uh, muscle mass. So in order to uh, avoid such conditions, uh, one should uh, have the adequate amount of protein in their diet so that the uh, muscle mass will be maintained. Uh, along with their endurance exercise or uh, through the resistance exercise so i hope you got some more insight about this prolonged exercise and low protein diet how the intercellular changes occurs during these conditions and if you need to understand more about this area in detail you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time